Hello and welcome to the Cowboy for Game Yu-Gi-Oh! podcast. I'm your host Jake. Today I'm joined by Ben from Nolan TCG. Hello. And Bragg from Braggio. Hello. How was our week in Yu-Gi-Oh? Uh, let's start with you, Bragg. Um, I need to interrupt. <laughs> I have something to get off my chest. Very early for a rant. Okay. Yeah. You know how difficult it is that you switch mine and Bragg's names every week? I'm keeping you on your toes. When I edit, I have to go and switch the title cards every week. Okay. You're adding like two minutes onto my day. Send me an invoice. <laughs> I will. For two minutes. Of every day. Which is about as much as I've played this week. Oh, no, I went a little... Oh, no, it wasn't that long last night. You beat the shit out of me. Comprehensively. To uh, be fair, there wasn't much winning from either of us. Yeah. <laughs> so eventually, I could play. I wrecked in Fire Kings. Yeah, I was going to say, did you want to tell, say what deck you were playing? Considering... Uh, I was playing Fire Kings. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I bricked. A, he's, a, he's a Fire King man now. You've got... Everything going for you. God, it's a good deck. By Brick, I open three and turn double ash, and then top deck draw. Which and then top deck call back, and then top deck another hand trap, and then and only then I opened combo. And all these cards can comprehensively stop Chimera. So, especially yeah. when he also doesn't open very well. Mm. Yeah. Uh, so just mucking around with that, doing combos. I'm, I think I've got a good feel of the deck. So much so that when I was watching the Chimera play on um, Bologna's stream, I was just so mad. That whole game was painful. Yeah. Uh, if you want to learn how to not play Chimera, don't play that. Like, it's already a subpar deck. Just kind of relying on your, oh, uh, Guardian Chimera pop, that's all much off turns. Like, no, there was so much off turn stuff before the Guardian Chimera play. Like... And you just immediately lock yourself out by adding, like using the lock effects. Deck's flexible. Deck can do good. Nothing like Fire Kings. But come on now. Come on. Was it, what were the Versing as well? Was, the vol- was the, some Fire Kings. Yeah. The, was that the Volcanic Fire King play? No, no. no, no it was no, the was Fire King play that thought that Anima could steal a token and still have the attack. Yeah. Because <laughs> it, just, it just disappears, yeah? Yep. No, it, just, go, it goes to the zone. Oh. It occupies the zone. Uh, but it, that is zero, zero. Huh. That doesn't make any sense. No. What does Thousand Eyes do now? No idea. The same thing. I completely disagree. Yeah, it doesn't keep the stats of a token. It forgets. Some documentation on this would be appreciated, Konami. It, it could specifically just be, be because it steals an Aburu token. And it doesn't have an original attack. But, yeah. It's a zero, zero. Mm. Also, the clarification you're going to get from Konami is unclassified. <laughs> Ask your local tournament judge. Yeah. Love it. Oh well. Uh, you next, him next. This doesn't stuff up your naming, does it? No, because no, we wouldn't the, the thing. It's the start is yeah. what the naming is. So, I don't know. Who wants uh, to go next? Oh, ben. I played a great deck today. I didn't play Tuesday. I was disposed of. Uh, but today, I played a great deck. A fantastic deck. One of the classics deck that's won a world championships it has yeah i played chain burn thank you thank you thank you i just wanted to I'm test to see if like the people at locals knew what to do two out of three of them did kurt didn't know what to do <laughs> kurt yeah who was the other person i was leo and jake of course it's, yeah. it's the same yeah they had played against chamber before i was like it's been a few years since I'm... anyone's played chain burn i know what do yeah. Although, I'll get in. I'll get into it later. Yeah. Yeah. Against Kurt, though, it was very funny to realize that, like, I was like, if he doesn't summon a synchro into his EMZ, I can activate Ojama Trio, and he can't play. So I activated Ojama Trio, and he couldn't play. Wow. He didn't have like a legal link target because SP needs tokens. Yeah. Uh, and they're like beasts, so that, that didn't help. Um. And then, or well, in our match, I was also dancing around the fact that I was like, these are fucking fiend tokens. And then eventually I was like, oh, they're, they're not. I'm great. Go. <laughs> um, but yeah, that was funny. The beast? At one point, yeah, I. Yeah, apparently, your jumps are beasts. Yeah. yeah. At one point, yeah. I like activate bad Balance of Judgment against Kurt when he's got like 2,000 life points left. And I'm like, Balance of Judgment for six. <laughs> if you don't have Ash Blossom, you lose. And he was like, I don't have Ash Blossom. And I was like, 
To be fair, I only drew like four traps and two shifter. I was going to say, shifter. two of those were shifter. Yeah, I was like, four traps and shifter? Ah, I see. Set, 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 plus. Thank God you're drawing six. God, balance is that good, huh? Yeah. Well, good's a stretch, but... Because you can trap trick for it as the last card. And... You give away everything and then you just like, trap trick, balance of judgment. Trap. Activate balance of judgment. Recur. Pass. <laughs> yeah, it's great. It's a good deck. It's fun. Will you, fun. Be, play will you be playing it again? Fuck no. Good. <laughs> this well, is just because we were watching old worlds. No, well, you might play it again. You never know. Go if you on. ever show up, like, and that's like, you should always show up going, someone might be in this room with Chainburn and not telling anybody. Yeah. So you've got to be nice to everyone. I even against Kurt, I scooped game one when he went full combo. I, I like set a card to see what his response would be and he didn't do anything so I was like I'll scoop oh <laughs> sneaky sneaky and then you got a can of beans I got his can of beans yes I did can of beans no one took trouble. my champagne wait really no one took my champagne yeah because you decide which one you give away so as long as he won one match he was always, always going to be able to I was never giving away my champagne <laughs> I mean You've given it away now. Yeah, now I've donated it to Konami. But that champagne, no one could take it from me. Should clarify for people who weren't in the room, they were a can it was a can of champignon mushrooms. Yeah. But when you're going to your locals who's doing the canned food drive this month, bring your champagne. They have a five star health safety rating. They do have a five star rating. Champagne is the healthiest thing you can get people in need. Expiry date all, all above board. Doesn't have an expiry date. I don't know. I like to get my mushrooms from the foothills of Victoria. Around the Maybe Bendigo the champagne area. mushrooms are from there. And then I cook a nice Wellington. I thought you'd get your mushrooms from a, a local <laughs> sun-dried mm -mm. mm -mm. Chinese place. And then... Yeah, oh yeah, no, 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 that's when it goes wrong. <laughs> I don't think it went wrong at all. I think that went yeah, exactly very much with the plan. Welcome to your latest news here from Cowboy for Game. See, yes, your sin some in the room might uh, be playing chain burn. Someone in the room might be cooking dodgy mushrooms. You never know. Yes. You never know. Yes. Always eat your mushrooms over ten. Do you reckon mushroom man number two is poisonous? Poisonous. So my week. Um, <laughs> Tuesday um, was relatively quiet. I think there was only the six or seven of us there, maybe. Um, I can't even remember really who was. Grace with my presence. I wouldn't find um, sure But yeah, uh, ended up in the finals against Cash. Um, game one, um, he used the Shangri Era lock effect after he banished a card from my hand. Uh, I triple tactics took the Shangri Era that still had material punched into something, made a Zeus, cleared the board, and then did full combo. Um, game two, I opened effectively five normal summons and like a random spell. So I was like, this ain't doing shit. Uh, and then game three had full combo. Plus I had the prosp afterwards because I didn't need to use it to find combo. And I found my new favorite side card in the current format, Mistake and Arrest. Yeah, you, you mentioned that last card time. Card is bonkers. That's the one, is the not add one? Yeah. No add from deck to hand until the end of the next turn. Which one's Mistaken Accusation? Is that a card? I think so. Because That's shit. what you'd be making if you said my mushrooms were. <laughs> yes. Uh, let's see. Also, while mistaken. they do this, Mushroom mu Man number two has some guns on him. Oh yeah, there is Mistaken Accusation. Uh, if your opponent has more total cards in their hand than you do, target one face-up card. On the field, neither player can activate cards with that name or oh, their effects I've for the rest of the duel. I've used this before. It's actually insane. I used to play this in Trick Stars, like against against Trick Stars, because you mistake an accusation called Lycoris. Lycoris? Really? Lycoris? Well, yeah, because then they can't burn you and they don't get the Lyricus? free summons either. So I think it activates. Lyric? No, it does not. Nah, it stops them from burning you. I mean, I would have personally picked the trap, but. Eh. What are you gonna do? Draw me? Yes. Okay. <laughs> that that's exactly what they do, historically. Do you reckon mistaken accusation can get played this format? In theory. But the issue is if your opponent's gone first, they're not gonna have five to six cards in their hand. It's a quick play. It's it. I know that. But also like, against Centurion, they still have a lot of cards in their hand. 
I don't know. I'd I prefer mistaken arrest personally. Is, uh, the, is it declare a name or target a card? I think it's target a card. Target. Yeah. Target one card. Face up card on the field. You could use it on the centurion in the back row in draw phase. The tuna. You could do that. Yeah. Also, Sagan yep. wasn't mistakenly accused. If that's the artwork is very not. Like, come on. Yeah, he definitely touched those kids. <laughs> Which is just copping it in the back there. She knows she fucked up. Anyway. Don't um, <laughs> yeah, so Mistaken Arrest won me the game I had before that, which was against Bistial, because they really enjoy adding stuff, and Kashtira, because they can only play by adding stuff. I was very happy. Yes, Ben? Is that the prequel to Sandwich? Oh, yeah, maybe. Yeah. What, they fused in the jail cell? Yeah. Well, no, he gets out eventually. We see him get out. But that's that's the conception. Do we see him get out? Of Sandwich. Yeah. Guys, the law. The law is there. The ban list is what brought them together. Yeah. Then Sandwich travelled back in time. No, no, it's, it's all going to be there eventually. In the grand scale of things. Couldn't mill... I've been thinking about saying game Remember, a lot. Yu Gi Oh is like Game of Thrones, where the ending was always written at the start. And it was shit. <laughs> um, How yeah, will the same I? damn lore end? Tune in next time on Dragon Sangam's Ball Z. Sangam's gonna go crazy. Uh, and then today we had the Konami charity event. Um, for anyone who isn't. I mean, different most to the people... other charity event. Yeah. Yeah, which we'll chat about in a second. Um, yeah, so this one was like bring cans of food and like kind of acted, acted like the um, battle, no, not Battle City, what's the other one? Duel's Kingdom, yeah. where like he gave a can of food for every loss that he had. Um, you your can against someone else's can. So game one was against Eldlich. I didn't see any back row removal, uh, so that was bad. Uh, game two was against. Oh, what was game two against? Well, it would have been. Wait. You played yeah. Billy. Billy, oh. yes. Billy was playing uh, Evil Eye He was Eye playing no, Evil Eye. Snake Eye. Snake Eye. Yeah, I don't fully understand that deck, if I'm honest. I don't know what it's supposed to be doing. It doesn't get there against me. Um, I looked over. I only ever saw Snake Eye stuff in play, so I have no idea what it was mixed with. Uh, Horus. It's Horus Snake Eye. Ah, oh, okay. You versed the Horus portion of it last week. Yeah, my Horus part worked more. Yeah, but I'm just saying it was the yeah. same deck. Um, oh. But I think he said he's going to retire that deck, because I don't think it does enough. Was he got the, has he got the Diablo Stars? Yeah. yeah, he's got it all. Why did he pivot to Fire King? I think he has two quick baseball. Oh, who cares? Oh, it's, 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 yeah. Can you do 2 2? What? Could you do 2 2 if you're desperate at oh, all? You just play the 2, you don't need to play 2 of another thing. Oh. Yeah, I think you can get away with it. Um, so, yeah, that didn't do a great deal. And then, yeah, game 3 was against Ben. I am uh, quite well versed with how to interact with. Chainburn, although the Heavenly Got Prison scary. was giving me issues because it turned off the portion of my deck yeah. that I needed to work. Game 3, I didn't draw it, and I was like, ah, oh, Lightning Storm. Yeah, and then an Ash Blossom mm. on the Desires, yeah. and then the Zeus. I won the game with the Zeus, didn't I? No. Didn't I? No, because that was Game 3. Oh, that was, that was Game 2. No. No, because you never had to make the Zeus because you blew my fucking board. No. Yeah. I only got to do the Lightning Storm once. In games one and two, you opened the uh, yeah. Heavenly Prison. Yeah, so yeah. I never got to blow up board. Yeah, but I, I like lost on the turn two. You went like normal summon Rhino Warrior, set the trap oh, that pops, and I just went, yeah, I draw, oh, that's set, right. yeah, yeah, pass, yeah. So yeah, game two was when I Zeus because um, you had to do the Lord to get more cards. By Lord to get more cards, I had one card left. And Correct. I was like, gotta do it. Yeah, so then I zeus um, And then, yeah, game three, you didn't open the Heavenly Prison. I opened the Lightning oh. Storm, and I got to do the things. Yeah, certainly. It was very fun for me. Um, yeah. Sounded like it. I mean, I, I had a great deal of fun. I don't mind when those decks, like, there's a bit of back and forth, but when they're just like, floodgate, floodgate, burn, blah. No space for floodgates. Gotta play burn. You say that, you could play Burn Floodgates. True. Like Skull Invitation. However. And um, the, what's it called? Like Casket Maker or whatever the fuck it is? It's like every card that gets sent to Graveyard, you get burned. 
Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, cough and sore. That's the one. I was close. <laughs> I'm like, it's cough and something. Mm. It's wrong. <laughs> All right. So, getting into some news, we start with Master Duel. Uh, so, kind of like as like a jump scare, effectively, the Duelist Cup began again. Yeah. Like, there was very little build up. It's just like, ta da, it's here. Yeah, because no leaks. Mm, true. They yes. plugged the holes in the leak ship. They did. Yep, no Titanics here. Um, so that's running for another week in a bit, I think. Um, Can I chain burn my way to the top? Have you played the entire thing chain burn, or have you just started playing chain I've burn? I've played the entire thing chain burn. And you're at DLV 15? Yep. I am currently still playing Cash Tira, Punk, Bestial, Thunder Dragon, Pile. Yeah. It's fun, but if I lose the die roll, I lose. When I, when I realised that uh, I didn't have access to it, all, every deck got made inconsistent, but versus. So I'm just like, take what it is. But I like hard lose to Cash Tira if I go second. Go first, easy win. Go second. Can you not just set five pass and do the thing? Yeah, but then they pop one with. They banish one and then. They end up like locking three zones by the time it comes back to you on turn uh, four. Oh, yep. Okay. And then the moment you set a card, they banish that and then you lose the fourth zone. So you are you are straight up gambling on your two cards being able to kill them. Yep. So. Makes sense. Yeah. Makes sense. Um, yeah, so that's going. Uh, we have some new assets that have been added. We have our newest Deluxe Mate, uh, which is uh, Tri Brigade Shrig the Ominous Omen. Ominous Omen? Yeah. Oh. Um, so he starts in his humanoid form and then puts on the bird mask. Oh. He is an attorney at law. <laughs> Caw. <laughs> Caw. <laughs> um, we also get a new background asset, which is the artwork for Brand of Fusion. It'll be the first background I think I buy because it looks quite nice. Are they actually backgrounds for like the back? Ground? Yeah, so when you open up to your main menu where you've got like dual solo mode shop and stuff, it's oh, the background there. I've never ever wanted to buy one of those because I've always assumed it was the opening screen when you load it. Yeah, no, that one's random. So you could buy the turbulence one to have turb just like. I could go, but it's something different now. What have I got it at the moment? I'm definitely getting that one. That's fine. I gold mode for a bit. This one's for me. I don't want to fuse. Actually, there was another. There was another one I was contemplating buying, but I just don't think at the time the gem economics worked out, which was the well, the world legacy card, where it's got like oh, yeah, Imduck yeah. and Ib just yeah, like yeah. with the shaft of light. <clears throat> Lachlan wanted to use that one. It makes sense. He likes that artwork too. It's yeah. one of the like handful of and things that we that was like, like that was ages ago as well. They yeah, 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 so. ages ago. Is ages that the ago. most furry card Konami's made? Which card? Imduck. The card you're talking about. Whether it's the beam of light and the chick's staring deeply in the Imduck's eyes. And Imduck's like... They're not looking at each other at all. They're both looking at the shaft of light. (laughs) They're both looking at the shaft. (laughs) Yeah, they are are gazing lustfully at the shaft. (sighs) This is is why we can't have nice things. Yes. Uh, But, um, obviously once the cup finishes, there'll be sleeves and stuff, and depending on where you finish, you'll get different stuff and all that, blah, blah, blah. There's also 3,300 gems on offer, so it's worth going in even if you're not doing it super competitively. Just build up some gems. That's why I'm burning my way to the top, baby. How many ultras are in chain burn? Uh, Well, you see, I didn't craft the ultras. (laughs) The answer is six, and it's the three lord and the three chain strike. I have opted to craft zero. Wow. Why would I craft them? Just pull them. Play optimally. It's yeah. not optimal play. I just play Gravedigger's Trap Hole instead. Does a quarter. Surely that's not. Surely that's an ultra. Nope. Is it not? Nope. Does hmm. a quarter of my damage I need to do at the very small cost of my opponent activating an effect? Hmm. Skateclaw Cash Tira? How about Skateclaw? No. Mm. Um, also, we get uh, the Duelist Cup reward pack, kind of like the Duelist Cup OTS, if you will. Yeah. Um, so the four ultras in there are Acid Golem, um, the first Psychic End, which I can't remember what it's called, like the OG Psychic End uh, Synchro. Oh, no, it's Thought Ruler Archfiend. Is yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah. Is that not what it's yeah, based it on, like, though? Overmind Archfiend. Yeah. Ha, you're wrong. Um, <laughs> I'm like, I can see the green. I'm like, that looks like the psychic green, but... Is it? 
What? Is it Overmind Archfiend for us? Or is Thought Ruler Archfiend like the Thought Ruler is the one? Synchro 8. Yeah, this one sucks. Yeah, this one's terrible. It only uses Psychics. It, like, banishes a Psychic on Summon, and then when it leaves the field, it summons that Psychic. Wait, is Overmind really a 10? An, an 8? It's a 9. I think... It, isn't it 11? No, yeah, I count 9. I thought it was 10. One, two, if you three, ask me four, in an alley... 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. It's a 9. 9! Ew! How are they... Ma- <clears throat> it's meant to replace Trish. What was... I guess they... I mean, obviously, Psychics have one-star tuners lying around. You're meant to use it the other one, but still... Two stars, tuners, whatever. Anywho, uh, we also get as one of the that four uh, Sky Scourge, Norlurus. Oh, oh poor God. God. Garbage. I think they just release these as things that you can have. Uh, and Transmission Gear, which is one of the random traps that has animation because you do paper scissors. Is that at least a Sky Scourge that you used in Dark, um, Dark Angels, whatever they're called? Orcus? With extols? No, the extol. It would be this Darkwoods. because yeah, you use fiends and fairies. But yeah, yeah. Um, but there was a combo in Orcus where you'd summon this, um, yeah. dump all your stuff, and then like summon IP. I mean, not IP. The um, Galatea with the counter trap it was quite. Sorry, fun. I was paying attention. I was paying papers as well for the people at home. I could see that. I hope they won. They did. Well, the fact that they can just rewind and reset what they played <laughs> makes it a little bit easier. Um, so yeah, that's where Master Duel is up to. Um, currently... What should I play? In Master Duel? Yeah. I mean, if you're going off Master Duel meta, yeah. currently the best deck is rated to be uh, Vanquish Soul, but there's a lot of Ultras. I'm not playing Vanquish Soul. A lot of Ultras. Not playing Vanquish uh, Otherwise, Pearly's still good, yeah. apparently with the Ghost Trick uh, oh, package. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, Branded now is picking up again because it's got a new bunch of support with Quem I'm and just made up. Huh? <laughs> I might have rage dusted them. Mm. Possibly. Mm. It's it's funny how well they can play though, still with just one brand of fusion. Like Is there some Starmie Venom with that? Huh? Is there a combo with Starving Venom and Brand of Fusion? Could be. I mean, yeah, if you want a neg. That's fine. We'll have Starving Venom. And he's right here. Okay. You you do that. I can send Beth on that, add some cards, then not be able to summon any good cards for the rest of the turn. <laughs> um, so moving on we have more news on the V-Jump promo that was um, hinted at a couple of weeks ago so the oh, mini yeah. uh, goddess <laughs> um, we got baited with this yeah so I thought it'd have an effect to do with the graveyard I focused on the wrong part of the effect uh, so it is called moon of the closed sky or at least it is at the moment uh, link to light fiend effect uh, attack 1200 uh, link zones are top right and top um, you can target one face up monster your opponent controls that this card points to point of contention already hate it mm. if it points to a thing and it has to target that thing stupid mm-hmm. okay Animal yeah it's does stupid same, yeah no no it's yeah. stupid yeah. Yeah. if you're going to make it as restrictive as oh it can only be things this points to just make it un, like a technically untargeted effect yeah makes sense but I had no similar one. problems with the Mac Knights but obviously no one cares about Mac Knights so um, target one phase up, opponent's monster, this card points to. This turn, if you link summon a Link 5 monster using this card, you control as material. You can also use the opponent's monster as material. So it literally just does what Oracle of a Goddess already does. But to an, you can stack in theory, it. It'd be, yeah, in theory, it'd be stacked. So you could go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, sure. So yeah, you're going 2 from you, 2 from them. And one of them's a link to. And if you're pointing to a link to, then that might be all right. But how is it called? Is it two effect monsters? Well, yes, two effect monsters. There could be formats where it's an out to things. I was going to say you should stash your SP somewhere else because you wouldn't want to link away with it, or you just you know respond. <laughs> I target this thing. Oh, nothing uh, I can do. <laughs> oh well, what do you do? Um. Yeah. So it's a disappointment. Like it's this, bad. The, the the Google Translate like the Google Translate of the effect didn't say the Link Five thing, so for like a good two minutes there we're like, oh this card's this card's kinda good. good, yeah. No. no. <laughs> uh moving on to good cards though, we have uh the newest piece of support for Fire Kings having been announced, uh which is Fire King Consort Ulkantrix. Ulkanix. There He's we go. bearing the lead here. It's a, lead, it's a waifu. It is unfortunately a whammon card. Completely unnecessary. Hmm? Could not have been more unnecessary. 
what as a card or just the art to, to just be yeah, another look, fucking monster yeah literally make it a fucking bull or something it really didn't need to be a woman but this is apparently the train that Konami loves to ride so here we are um, also, I don't know whether it'll keep the consort naming when it comes to the TCG because it has connotations that I feel like are potentially problematic. Vikings need a consort. What are you talking about? There's nothing wrong with war. What? What is good for absolutely, absolutely nothing? Say it again, uh, Jake. No. So, if this card normal special summon and destroy one other fire monster in your hand or face up field and if you do add a fire beast beast warrior or winged beast monster from your deck to your hand except for itself Wait, then you can... she again sorry she is a winged beast yeah, yeah. uh other than herself then you can make the level of this card become the level of the monster added to the hand oh that's all right it's not bad uh, if this card is destroyed and sent to the graveyard, special summon one Fire King High Avatar Garunix from your deck in defense position. It is actually quite good. It combos quite well with Kieran. Yeah, I was going to say the, that Kieran bits. Yeah, you go like summon, add Kieran. Yeah. Becomes an 8. Yeah. Yeah. That's yep. pretty good. Well, so, I mean, by the time we get this, I don't know what the shape the deck's going to be in. The thing is, like, if you fucking. If you have the. To actually make that card good, you have to have already had the continuous and the field spell. Yeah. So, like, really necessary? It's there, and because it's a woman, people will play it. Couldn't you summon that off the... Yeah. Sh could that not be the target for... Like, you know? Yeah. Could be. Oh, that feels kind of bad, though. Yeah. I mean, so yeah, it's, if you've got the if you've got the little chicken, yeah. play on. Get that. Yeah. Off you go. But if you don't have the little chicken... Uh, is there a world that when Seek, Wanted, whatever, goes to, um... Gets limited. Yeah. Will we play this? Maybe. Maybe. It is more starter cards. Billy, but pick again. this up. Pick up Vikings. What are you doing? Snake Eye, bloody Horus at this time of year. February, that's a cool <laughs> call. A good call, though. In the middle of December? Yeah. Um, it's too hot for that. Without the Fire Link? Without the, the, without the new Snake Eye? Yeah, it's probably incomplete at best. Um, God, I do have to circle it. back to Master Duel briefly because I forgot that there was stuff before the Duelist Cup. Um, so, as I hinted at before, they have released a new Bestial branded pack, uh, oh, which oh. has the Dispader, has the Quem. Um, what's the other one? Oh, Lulu Lulu Lilith. I got a Magnum for my free pack. Nice. And then I scrapped the Magnum because it's a one. I already have one. Oh, you already had your one. Of course. Oh, is a bearless in effect yet? Yeah. So I'll go to dust the other shit. Yeah. Yeah, I had to dust stuff from Pearly. Nearly forgot. Uh, and then we get another pack, um, the Bizarre Playing Board, uh, which is just pendulum stuff. I feel like this was just an excuse to um, give us the pendulum thing that they recently... Valiance? Yeah, it's a lot of Valiant stuff, but there was a pendulum card that recently got changed on the ban list, right? Monkey Board. Yes. Yep. I played against that today bad yeah it's not great look pendulum can pop off but it's weird plays in the chain really badly oh yeah like you can't do anything on <laughs> on a pendulum board unless you have 15 billion things yeah it's pretty rough but anyway you're doing that thing again where like you're basically putting an entire deck down no matter how good it is in the meta because it happens to have lost to you if it can't it should have been centurion i almost <laughs> lost the war rocks this morning yeah yeah because you let them get to the battle phase you fool yeah, i didn't have always chain turned on it was on auto you're like what are you gonna do negate my shit oh no we negated my shit <laughs> it's in battle phase i was like i have the ring of destruction it's fine and then it just entered the battle phase and i was like uh -oh. I've entered the problem zone. <laughs> I resolved the third ring of destruction. Oh, just the third. Okay. It was fine. It was enough for you. We got uh, there. Um, we get a couple more backgrounds as well. Oh, a few more assets, I should say. Um, so we get Albion, the Sanctified Dragon Sleeves. Uh, Le is it Kiss a Kill Treat? I can't remember. Oh, we yeah. I yeah. One of the fucking stupid anime women. We also get a stupid anime women icon surround. The evil twins. Yeah, yeah. those ones. Yeah, I do need to be more specific. So they with, must um, be my declaration of anime women. They, yeah. they just must. They so must be possible. Mm -hmm. Popular. Popular. Yeah. 
Um, we get a couple new backgrounds as well. Um, we get uh, the new frontier, the bad Albaz field spell that got released at the end of the law with like Kit and that flying away. Um, it's a nice background, doesn't do much though. Oh, and the more, the more exciting thing I should say, uh, the new pack that had Albion and Lulu Lilith in it also has the Gate Guardian support. Oh, yep, yep. Is there a world that you could get to 20 with Gate Guardians? How many Ultras do they have? That is a great question. Let me answer that for you. One... I mean, as Gate Guardian Ultras... Yeah. Seems to be just one. Yeah, we're in business. If it's one Ultra, I can craft for days. Yeah, I think it's legitimately just one that's like the three combined. Yeah. Because the other two are supers. You don't need an actual Gate Guardian that, do you? Imagine if Cars are doing all that would still fucking... <laughs> Usable? Yeah. Oh, and still ultra, like the Ultra. Because you need to run well, one of each, right? So here's the issue oh. that I'm finding, is that I'm looking through this pack, and it doesn't have those three monsters in it. Yeah, you got to build them. Or craft them. So my they're Ultras. Well, yeah, that's my concern, is that they'll just add them as Ultras. Uh, and then we also get a math mech and zoo oh. pack, um, which again I think is just an excuse for them to re-release Redox and the zoo cards that they banned in a new yeah. pack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All the dragon rulers that one. That one, yeah. As soon as they're at a three, I might try. I might give something to go, but until then, yeah. they're all kind of bad. Yeah, they But like if they're all you, three, you might be able to when, scrap out something. Me and Ray can... were combing lists for fire kings, and one guy was playing blaster. He was like, "Yeah, in theory." You like <laughs> discard, you send the fire, you pop. Never use this card once. <laughs> He's like, the theory is there, I just never seen it. Because it's not searchable. It's always great when they start a sentence with in theory. Bro, I saw so many really shit Viking lists. You would. <laughs> One person was like, I play three of everything. Like, okay, cool. So you're playing four hand traps? Awesome. Good work. <laughs> He's always going to see combo. But not much else. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yeah. Have to play Pavo Fire King, maybe. Have to start building it. Got to find the structure decks. Does the store have any? Yeah, there are heaps. Sweet. He, like, brought the display box over to Ben, being like, all right, you ready to grab yours? Ben's like, I <laughs> grabbed mine three <laughs> oh, days ago. It. He was literally uh, playtesting hands. Oh, yeah, here's the hands. other thing, too. So he's sitting there doing all these fucking Fire King combos, yeah. <laughs> being like, this is my thing, I'm doing this, oh, it ends on this, and da da da. All right, round one starts. Set five pass! Oh, <laughs> I, I even well, played so did against me. I was like, oh, I bricked. Set one. Uh, actually, I'll skip. <laughs> actually, not that I'm accusing you of this, it's more just a curiosity. Would doing that constitute bag. Sportsmanship? Absolutely not. He can play. He can practice whatever he wants in the yeah, store. Wait, or saying he bricked? Yeah, like feigning that you're playing something else. No, why well, not? I'm not pretending that I have tokens that I don't have. You don't have um. You don't have uh, bloody armor master sitting face up on your extra. Yeah, deck. I don't have a sword sword token there. I don't know. It's just a curiosity. I always that I have a token around. My extra deck was uh, two link Rebo, a relinquish animal, and a bunch of super poly targets. It's not six already. Yeah, the church bell ring ding 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 ding. Fight. <laughs> yeah, you're right. So, um, as many of you are probably aware, YCS Bologna, um, well, by the time that you're watching this, has finished. Uh, is Congratulations to. Did reduct this. <laughs> <laughs> Did well. <laughs> Yeah, I love when didn't edit this does well in a tournament. It's really great to see. If it's, it's packed that wins now, I'm gonna be so upset. It's only a matter of time until Actually, didn't edit this in gets banned. Mm. Yeah. True. Now I hope it is packed. More story about that, by the way. So back apparently back in the day, if you watched this, if you watched that Simpsons episode in America, depending on the region where you're watching it from, it said your local team. Ah. That's why it's like the. Atlanta Falcons. Yeah. That was the one that aired in the Atlanta area. But, like, for each region, it changed the team that was said. Yeah, right. And they had a 
person editing that had your level of care about editing. Yeah. <laughs> when they did the international release, it was just the... Atlanta Falcons. Falcons. <laughs> I wonder if it's different on Disney+. Plus. It would just be the, the syndicated version. Maybe. Well, no, definitely. It's definitely the syndicated version. What if it's not? <laughs> I don't want to tell you it's a syndicated version. <laughs> So, uh, we have a deck breakdown for day one of YCS Bologna. Um, so in tied first, we have Rescue Ace and Unchained. You got his own thing now. Well, I feel I needed to. You do. Especially now because they're tied in representation. Yeah. It's concerning. Uh, but moving on, we have... Yeah. Uh, we have 10% Tier Element. 7% Labyrinth, 7% Purely, 4% Bissual, and 43... 48% Other. There was glare on the photo I took. So, <laughs> like, surely some of that's Fire Kings, then. And Flunderies. Fire King's not crack cracking 10%. Ah, it's fine. It's just been released. Yeah, also, but... Fucking... Konami's really pushing the stereotype that Italians love Flunderies. Yeah, they... they was Every dogs. guess a card had at least one Flunderies card in it. Yeah, we saw the rest two. of the deck later that night. Like, All of it. All of it. And as soon as, you see, the, as soon as you see the little art style, you're like, oh, it's a Flunderies card, and I already know the other seven they've put up, so it's going to be bloody map now. Immediately when that also, came up, I was like, map, map is phenomenally poorly drew, drawn. Yeah. Like, yeah. it honestly looks like my niece drew it. But the little, hey, the, point. the little limp pen's cute, though. Yeah, but that's all it's got going for it. Just a little Emma going, ah. I like how they just didn't put Snail. Like, I mean, I'll, I don't remember Snail being on there. Poor on snail. the guesser card? Or on the map? No, on the map. I think only M pen is like visible, right? The rest of it's just like whoever drew it just knew what the deck does. <laughs> All roads lead to M pen. <laughs> it's, it's actually true. All roads do lead to M pen. No roads lead to snail. They could though. They just never will. No. You know what they took to just running more M pens. <laughs> I've played against Andrew a couple of times now in the brief period he was coming back to locals and it's just M-Pen Turbo like his first term was summoning double M-Pen I'm like bruh he should commit to playing Snail once and actually summoning it because he's put it in his deck once because he's like oh I was thinking about uh, joking around I've seen him summon it before yeah alright on stream or on recording no I don't think so no coward when does Bologna do two stuff He's not going to be playing that you much. You told yet. me this like 20 minutes ago. Yeah, but I made it up. <laughs> oh, yeah, there's still. Oh, my God, so much to watch. Day two. I'm looking this forward is to the last. This is the last YCS of the year, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. It would have, well, it'd have to be. God. So this is the last one before they potentially come down with the band hammer. Yeah. That's why I'm concerned that Unchained has such high representation. <laughs> well, I mean, what are they going to hit for it, though? This there's, is... there's so many things you can hit and it kill the deck. Don't hit two of again. Well, that's an easy option, but as Ben said last time, they may not do that because it is yeah. such a nice generic option for a lot of decks. Yeah. Uh, they could limit the level 6. They could limit the search spell. It's not easy. I they, can't find the link anymore. They could limit Yama, but like you're only playing two of them, but still they could do that. So much Yama and Guardian Chimera. Maybe. 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 Oh, uh, there's a fiend that brings itself back. It is only one ultra, by the way. For only the, one ultra for the con for the Gag Guardians. Not that's the... that's interesting because I may well play a tier Gag Guardian deck for funsies. So body dickhead still getting around though. Arise heart, yeah. Yeah, it's whatever. Ooh. And chainbone still a thing. <laughs> <laughs> be careful. Oh dear lord. If you mill, what happens if you hit with a with a with a with a trap hole? Rule can't negate chain strike. Well he doesn't even play chain strike. Yeah, don't play chain strike, it's an ultra. Rare. Uh, yeah. uh, uh. uh uh uh. Next thing. Next thing is questions. What? I thought we had some oh whatever. I looked there's not a lot going on. Did we not talk about the pack re release? The Dragons of Legend special edition little boxes. They just that wasn't got announced like six months ago. But didn't they? 
isn't there something that we didn't know about it till this week? Oh, they confirmed some shitty card in it. Oh. Also, that is a special edition little box thing. That to me is like, oh, they're bringing these back, aren't they? They never went away. The little ones? Yeah. Well, oh, so, point in question. Uh, it's always been like that in America. Oh. Yeah. We get a different product style to them. Okay, yeah, because I was like, oh, the little boxes are back. Oh, they just, they, they started wanting to waste plastic. Yeah, no, they get a different thing to us. Ah. They get, that, so we're not just, seeing that. It'll be yeah. it'll be like the same thing as the hidden arsenal chapters. Yeah. This is like the box with the dice inside uh, hidden. For us, you can just go, what dice is it? Is that one? Okay. <laughs> uh, or for the, the first ones. release, you could just, they didn't even do the thing we had to go, oh, what is it? The dice was just there. Mm. I used to just be like, oh, the Cabo one, not the Cabo Cop one, not the Cabo Cop one, oh, the Cabo Cop one. Mine? Gib. Uh, so yeah, moving on to questions. If you weren't aware, we do have a Discord. Link will be in the description below. Feel free to jump in, say hi, and ask us questions. Um, so a lot of our questions this week were weird. Oh, um, yeah. Are we going so, on a tangent? A little bit, but we'll start with Jesse. Uh, as the year comes to an end, have we actually enjoyed opening product loaded with QCRs, or has it, has it been enjoyable and what we expected? Uh, personally, he thinks it's been excessive and almost tacky, especially with the randomness of some of the options. I, I could agree. not agree more. Yeah, it they lost their luster something Very fast. Very quickly. Like, I went from not pulling one to, oh, I can't even bother if I pull one. Obviously, the... Do I sleeve it? Yeah, so part of it was just the fact that like we were hit with so many of them all at once. Like I feel like the tins, and, oh, not so much the tins, but yeah, there, there just seemed to be a lot of them coming at us in a relatively short amount of time. Yeah, and yeah, if you compare it to Starlights, where it's like there's only five, it's like one per case or per two cases, yeah, something like that. And then you've gone to a thing of like, oh yeah, there's like three per every eight boxes and that kind of shit like it just got very tired very quickly very and then yeah when you're after like what is relatively speaking for some of them not a very expensive card it's somewhat niche but it's a card you like and then you end up with like a fucking garbage one it feels really bad yeah it that it, because at least when you pulled a garbage starlight like at release say at least it was still worth something like someone would probably still pay a hundred ish dollars for the yeah. garbage starlight yeah. whereas for the garbage qcrs they might as well be a common yeah they've they've definitely hurt the value of like actually opening product dramatically so is qcrs in phantom nightmare i know i've asked this yes. on the podcast yes. yeah and then that's it hopefully mm, maybe they seem to be continuing still in the OCG. Yeah. Much like the Year of Fire, 25th anniversaries keep going. Yeah, it's by financial year. But they started before uh, the financial Oh, it is a financial year. year of fire. Yeah. Yeah. So it is the financial year of QCRs. And ironically speaking, they are not financially viable. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're going to get ordered. I'd like to pull a Starlight one day, though. One day. Because... So you've not pulled one. No. Pulled like four. Four. Okay. I think we're either <laughs> tied or I might have five. We've had this discussion before. I think you're now ahead because you've got one more. Oh, no. They haven't printed them in like nine months. Well, if you've only... If you, but you've bought two... You've done two cases in the last four years, though. Yes. Yeah, so... But I didn't pull a Starlight in one. Yeah. So that's kind of tough. Yeah. I've only been doing boxes, so... I can't get that man. I've gotten... I'm up to nearly two cases worth of boxes, though. A uh, winning, uh, ultimate slayer, the Xyz for uh, the rank three for Thunder Patrol. No, no, that, that's not it. The other ones. Rank three star. Gold Prime, maybe. Um, ah, and ah, then yep. there was one other in there that was like really shit. So yeah. Hmm. One day or never. Because they won't bring Starlights back. Will they bring them back? Hopefully. I hope so. I hope they go back to the way it was. Like, it's all good and well to have everything as a 25th, but when they print your stuff as common, it doesn't matter. What? 
But they printed emergencies are common, so it doesn't get 25. Uh, but. Well, they should do the hollow versions even for commas. Make the call. Give us random um, starlight bumps of common cards. Make, next question. Make all cards common. Uh, next question. Uh, a little sort of tack on from Jesse. And kind of related to the ban list. Um, oh, damn it, it jumped. Hang on. Uh, underrated ban list suggestion. Contract to one. Sure, do it. I have no, f- I have no feelings. I couldn't give a shit either way. I'm not even playing the contracts. I don't like the idea of just opening the pendulum and like then your prosp is basically, oh, I need to find this missing piece of this stupid combo. Yes. And not two other prosps. Like the deck already has some unplayable bricks. Like if you open Sarama with no way to get settable targets back, or Shyama with no way to get it in grave. Yep. Or even just the big one with nothing to like pop and do shit. Like it doesn't do anything. And fucking finish run in fucking warrior. There's so much shit in that deck that doesn't do anything without adding three contracts and a pendulum that's useless without them. Granted, if you open like just that or both, it's great because yeah. it does a lot. It just I personally don't think it's worth it. I have taken to using my Ring of Destruction on Tool Guide, hoping that there's no way to pop the Fiendish running around. There's so many ways of popping Fiendish. Today you didn't have it, so it's fine. <laughs> Today I didn't need it, because I was playing Chainburn. So I was like, I can just sit on this Rhino Warrior, poke for some damage and do stuff next turn. <laughs> Next question. Next question. Uh, six I six. What? Nothing. I was just going to say you were very proud of your Fiendish Rhino Pope pass play. I was playing chain burn. There's no point over committing. Yeah, but you over commit, you get hit. Yeah. Just finish Rhino just standing out there, dick in the wind. Yep. Horn in I the mean, wind. Sorry. Well, well, his effect was negated, so there was no horn in the wind at all. Next question is from six star six. What is your biggest regret related to a TCG product purchase? <laughs> <laughs> was it the pre-order pricing uh, turning down a deal thinking it was too pricey at the time or spending too much on a particular sealed product or not buying enough Bro, there's been so many fucking bad so, so many. many regrets so many take regrets once a week no I don't rolls in the locals buys five packs gets garbage nah. prices nah, that's, no, that's, that's that. where you that's where, uh, you break even eventually that's how it works um one of my bigger regrets in the early game was buying as much gold rare pack as I did because uh, like early Jacob memories was like shiny equals good so the gold packs were like literal gold to me certain gold certain gold rares like were worth buying because then you had the staples forever like but not when you started <laughs> so way back in the day when Ben was getting back into the TCG and uh I was driving the trucks I used to like stop in at Kmart in Batemans it's, Bay. It's twice now he's brought up truck driver Ben history. I used to stop in at Kmart in Batemans Bay and I'd go in and I'd buy a premium gold. Every time I drove past. Premium gold's alright. Every wasn't time it? I got garbage. Yeah. But some of those were alright staples that have come back since. There was a lot of shit in that set. Oh yeah. Was premium gold the one where they reprinted Dark Destroyer? It certainly was. That was number oh, three. Yeah. I'm thinking of the one before then. Yeah, you hated that. Yeah, this is gold. after the YCS when I was like, time to like properly build a deck. And I was like, I'm still just going to buy premium golds at Kmart. That might be a regret. That's not TCG regret. Um, Server station packs are good though. These are from Kmart. True. Um, yeah. For me, it's buying seven boxes of Dark Saviors to pull one in cage. Yeah, yeah. What did I... I think it was like one of my mine and Brit's like like early dates as well. I'm like, I just gotta crack these boxes. So I'm like, Jesus. <laughs> She's like, you did so good. I'm like, there's only one engage. I needed two. I'm ruined. <laughs> <laughs> I'll never financially recover from this. I spent so much money on that. I set. think everybody did because like that effectively just became like the salted caramel of Yu-Gi-Oh for a while, where every person was playing some form of Sky Striker with the shit they already had. I'm gonna need you to explain that salted caramel. Of so. Like, it was a phenomenon 
a while and back, and it hasn't really worn off yet. That like everyone just has like a salted caramel something in their restaurant. Yeah, he's right. Like it might not always belong there, but someone always has a salted caramel something. Man, things were wonderful pre-Korean War. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you? I'm making a your old joke, Jake. It didn't land. You hey. just sound racist. Mash is funny. Yeah. I don't Maybe think I've ever watched it. Oh my god, what type of boomer are you? Not a good one. I'm still playing a children's card game. <laughs> In the end, he's mentally ill. Spoilers for MASH, by the way. Yeah, I was going to say he's that. A, he's Well, now s- I have no need to watch it. In the second last episode... A chicken was a waifu! A <laughs> chicken, chicken was a waifu! <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, there's... a. Uh, there's I don't need to shut up, shut up, shut up. There's a chicken. Shut up, 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 no, it seems more like a product yeah. related. I'm regret. sure I've rented. Persecular card. I've done even worse. Yeah. But oh yeah, plenty of those. Here we are. Um, another one, and it's not really related to Konami, but it's one thing that I didn't like at the time. Um, everyone getting onto the hype of um, the eclipse sleeves. Do you all, oh, I remember do you all remember that. The cli- yeah, 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 I remember sleeves? that. Everyone they were black was on like, the inside and coloured on the outside. Yeah, so they were the first instance of like the dual tone sleeves where they had like the colour on the outside and then just it the black so insert. so expensive. They were more expensive than anything else and also shit. Yeah, they got dirty so fast. So quick. Actually terrible purchase. Yeah, I bought so many of those and they, over time, was like... And also, any time I've ever bought white sleeves, I've also regretted it. Yeah. They look nice briefly, but again, they, they just get they dirty nice way too quick. They for the first test hand and Jake is <laughs> test handing the moment those sleeves are taken <laughs> out of the box. Fuck you. You're sitting there with fucking Fire Kings duping your opponents and you're having it's to go with me for fucking It was testing. an extended bluff, Jake. No, you had to practice for next week. I do have to practice next Where week. Where he then shows up with uh, Xodia FTK. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, I don't know. I bought like three boxes of Legacy of the Valley and that set sucked. Uh, yeah, I don't know. No, it was, it's, I never really... For the most part, I only spend what I can afford, so... Even if I whiff on it, I'm like, eh. I just don't buy sealed anymore unless I'm buying a lot. Like, I bought a 25th because I was like, I'll open a box 25th. Oh, yeah, like, I'm buying sealed to look at the pictures and maybe record and do some stuff. Mm-hmm. Like, I... Or when we did the the pack, ver- pack versus pack one, which I would like to do again. Remember case versus case? Yeah, that was ridiculous. I think one box, 12v12. Rise of the Duels, wasn't it? Ah, oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> God. That was a good set, though. Take your good case. Yeah, I didn't get a Starlight in oh. mind, but it was decent. What was Jake? Us he... going halves in the tins. Oh, yeah, those were bad. Oh, not for me. Bro, mine was Yeah, terrible. it was great for you. <laughs> I bought a case of tins that didn't pull a Dragoon. Uh, well, yeah, similar. Um, yeah. The tins over time have become worse and worse uh, product buy and great single buys. Yeah. Yeah. Ever since they dropped the promo cards. This could have bring that price down. It's not worth buying tins anymore, man. Just bring it down by 20 bucks and then we'll buy more of them. It's just the price point's too high for what the contents are. Yep. And it's like... That's pretty know. much been the story for most TCG offshoot products Inflation. for the last eight months. Then again, months. the original tins fucking sucked, though. Was it like, oh, here's like two packs of Ferona Guardian and XYZ Dragon Cannon. Get fucked. I like now that we get in Australia, we get slugged with we get slugged with inflation, plus the fact that we were already just getting charged more for our product. It's fun, isn't it? Like in America, they're like seventeen dollars for a mega tin, outrageous. Here we're like sixty-five. Hmm, I did want to eat tomorrow. <laughs> Remember when we had record inflation and the, our dollar was high, and yet we were still paying more for product? Yeah. We've always paid more for product. Yeah. And it's like, oh, that's kind of weird. And then as soon as the double you, weekends, inflation goes up. Tell you, we need to open a printing plant in New Zealand. There was a one, a 
point where we had a one to one dollar and we were still paying three times the price for product. Yeah. So stupid. It goes both ways. Sure, I get it. You don't want to cut into your losses, but you've got to cut into your profits. I just ended up, at that point, I was buying singles from America. I was like, oh. Oh God, it was so good. That's how, like, all my US cards have come from that point. That's how we got into that um, raw deal game, was that random Canadian site. Just bought it out. Everything was cheap. Can't get that now. Those are the days. Next question, Jake. Uh, next question is from uh, Frozen Astaline. Uh, what hand traps slash non-engine cards are you running this format? Uh, the standard Asher Imperm or something more spicy? I think I want to play Ogre. You have said this. The further we get... You did also mm-hmm. say this morning when you wanted to play Ogre that you wouldn't tell Kurt so it would catch him by surprise. And, and now told you've Kurt told him at Locals. I and told now him told... immediately. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like the second you saw him, you're like, Hey Kurt, guess what? I'm, I'm going to add Ogre, Ogre and fuck you up! <laughs> <laughs> hey, you got to keep him on his toes. I mean, yeah, you... Um, I won't say uh, faked him into thinking you were playing Fire King, but approximate. Yeah. What you want to do is you want to tell someone how you're going to beat them, and then you want to do exactly that. Because there's also the fact that Although you can't that's play. Not a, what you, you did today. You can't play around uh, Ghost Ogre, so it's like, I'll tell you, I'm playing Ghost Ogre. You can't stop it. The only way you can stop it is by not playing. And any time that my opponent's not playing in fear of me having a card, goodbye me. Uh, I still don't mind Ghost Bell and Phantas- Like Phantasme, I've I've got the one lying around. I don't know if I want to brick on it. Well, you can't really brick on it, can you? I'm tossing up playing that at the moment. Yeah, like, I'm tempted, but, I don't know, Fire Kings don't really... Oh, they can go that way. They can. They but then, don't. I mean, because Unchained it's good against. Well, yeah, no, it's great against Unchained. Yeah, very good against Unchained. Because the link targets. So you go, bang! But we're not at the point of main decking Phantasmae. Or are we? No, nah, I'm side decking. I'll side it. I'll side it. Could we main? Might side two. Dragon. Hmm. Main uh, decking droll. Yeah. I mean, well, mistaken. Mistaken arrest. Should play a mistaken accusation. I've got one you. mistaken arrest. Because it was a secret, yeah? Yes, I have one secret, two golds. <laughs> what happens if... It's not ideal. What happens if you I'm normal sure. summon tour guide, summon Phoenix Rhino Warrior, and I mistaken accusation... The Phoenix Rhino Warrior. It doesn't get destroyed, so I'll just blink it off and continue playing. But you can't use Phoenix Rhino Warrior for the rest of the duel. So it's not going to do anything. That's fine. I still get to my Link 3. Uh, Link 2. That's true. But what if I use it on a different card? <laughs> like the tour guide the minute I summon it, so the oh, effect doesn't resolve? Which would be a much better uh, application of your time? Does the effect still resolve? I thought it's after the resolve. We're, we're into mistaken accusation things. We'll worry about mistaken accusation later. You say we. You fucking did this. You're humouring me. Yeah, I regret it. Next question. Next question is from Mitochondria, and this is where it starts getting fucking weird. Welcome. I think it might be his first comment. Uh, no. We have, uh, I believe Mitochondria was in our store today. Anyway, I, I feel really weird about this. It's a topic I don't Let me read feel, it. No. I can read it on my it. own Discord. Yeah, even true. though even though we're not going to edit, yeah, yeah, the other bit, but we're definitely going to edit this bit. So why, why am I going to? Mitochondria this? asks, would you gimmick lock a Make a Wish child with cancer at a YCS Grand Final? That kid not uh, last that long. Um, uh, I don't know. Maybe not. I don't feel good about doing that kind of shit to most people. No, important. but they can they can fucking beat me anyway. Like, have I told this story on the pod before? I mean, should I tell this story on the pod? I mean, we've already no. I definitely have. I definitely have. Anyway, um, no, they can fucking they can just beat they they probably have the counter for it, and we'll just beat you. If they've made it that far, we're ready for a fair match. Yeah, like come on, come on, like all these things are working against them. Like I'm gonna play my best and they're probably going to play the best and then I'm going to throw some that make a wish child just wants you to give them the free win well I guess it depends whether or not they've just been given free wins the whole way 
if it's the general consensus in the room that we're just giving them the free ride, it'd be I'm pretty bad. <laughs> Uh. All right, well, that answers the next question, um, which is from Jesse. Uh, would you, Jesse Cotton, FTK, a 12 year old child to win a great, win YCS grand final? Hell yeah. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> It'd be funny. <laughs> Laughter is the best medicine. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, this was just a 12 year old, not a Wake Wish kid. That's fine. That's yeah. fine. That's fine. Um, Arch, again, similar tangent. Um, a child probably dying who knows oh god oh who knows is playing you at the orange regionals <laughs> but it's late and you just really want some pizza buffet oh I'm scooping I'm out I'm scooped I'm already scooped well that was his question do you give him the win oh hell yeah well do you give him the win in a way that they know because kids are fucking smart they don't they, they want to beat you they don't want you to give up and they go, oh, I won by default. No, you've got to, you've got to play it out. I signed up the moment that match slips dropped down. I've signed it. I've ticked that I've lost. I'm out. Oh. I'm Ben's gone. all about destroying the dreams of children. Yeah. Like, I'm gone. You want to beat me? I scoop. Yeah. You I'm want gone. to, you Steve want to beat Austin, me in the finals? By, FTK! By, <laughs> by the time this kid has like finished their complaint, I've got 18,000 marshmallows in my mouth. <laughs> I'm like, so good. <laughs> Sorry. Shelvin marshmallows. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, this is long. Um, okay, 6i6, six six, question one. <laughs> what would your make a wish be? <laughs> <laughs> to, be to beat a 12 year old in the YCS final. <laughs> <sighs> um, uh. So that's, a, like, that's, a, that's an open question, that was that. My own what? fucking card, that... Why? Come on, give me one too. Yeah, where's my own card? Yeah. Drive down the value. Actually, my that... wish would be for every Yu-Gi-Oh player to have their own card. Oh my god. <laughs> everyone. Not just Tyler, have, everyone. Excuse me, but have you seen the custom card thing in yeah. Dueling Book? Yeah. Print them all. The game would be unplayable. Print them all Seb's, and put Gary Seb Johnson's face on one of them. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's awful. If I were to get a card printed, I'm going to effectively change the question to if you're getting a card made by Make-A-Wish, what would you have? I just want it to be something generically good, but I'd want it to be released in the main packs. I wouldn't want it to be like one of those $250,000 cards after I die. That's the thing. If you print everyone a card, all of them worth nothing. Yeah, good. But if it's generically good, it'll get seen everywhere. And then everyone will be like... Oh, he's got the Brand of Fusion. Oh, but he's been jaked. <laughs> if Brand of Fusion could be jaked, I think you'd be really upset with your legacy. I'd be okay with that. Because I'd play cross out for Jake. Only I am a Jake! <laughs> Guys, you can't cross out a Tyler. You can't cross out a Tyler. Shit. No, you can cross out a Tyler. You Take just can't. Take like... Yeah, what? You can cross out your own Tyler. You just can't cross out your response to your yeah. opponent's Tyler yeah. because yeah. they would have it and you wouldn't. Yeah. That's what we're saying. Okay. Okay. Good. Good. So I can cross out it. Yeah. It wouldn't Is do it anything. in the database? I don't know. But if, uh, if I ever, ever make it to the final of a YCS, I'm going to illegally activate cross out and call Tyler the Great Warrior. <laughs> Oh, so just just to clarify, yep. you're there with the Make-A-Wish kid, you're like, you're going down. Yep. You're there at a final and it's not a YCS kid, yep. you're going to get yourself DQ'd. Yep. Good to know. Yep. It's alright. It's alright. No clean finish, puts them over still. Yep. Exactly. Uh, I would want, yeah, I'd want a card and it is text for text for metamorphosis. <laughs> and it's... So I, and only I, have it. And it puts itself back in deck. No, you can run through. <laughs> Excuse me. No, because uh, it would only be one, yeah. No, well, they'd have to give me three of it. Yeah, okay, so that's the thing. Well, so when they're three I mean, Obviously, they're not, they're not, well, I mean, they should give him a play set, right? It's kind of shitty they only gave him one. I guess it's the old days where it's a signature boss monster. 
And then one more attack. What, what was Tyler? 27? Or was it 3k? I think it was 27. Uh, maybe even been 27. 27 if I had a custom card, its attack would be like something stupid, like 26, 13. Just to screw with everyone's life point calculations. 420. But then with the field power bonus, it becomes... <laughs> <laughs> question or second part of the question from 686 when has your life flashed before your eyes I don't think it ever has we were taking a jet ski down a hill once like I was on a trailer and, and everyone just kind of like let go and I was the only one like left steering it I'm like oh well it's about to run into those like where people are and plus this weird ledge so I'm going to try and steer it the other way I'm like if I trip and die here I'm dead and then everything so a couple times I've had it flash before my eyes. Nearly drowned once. A couple times. But I think it's more of me just being introspective. It's not like some thing. It's just me going, oh, hold on. Let me just take a second. We, I say we, it was me and my mate were playing basketball when I was, it was very young. We had a basketball hoop at my house. Um, That's why your brother's really good at it. And you're not. He's not very good at it, and we both know this. Um, He's better than me. <laughs> <laughs> so we are playing just standard basketball, and then we came up with a game where one of us... Because the basketball hoop was mounted on the deck, so we're like, oh, one of us will try and shoot, and the other one of us will try and swat the ball away from the hoop. Mm. And you have X amount of shots, and whoever gets the most shots in is the winner. And we're doing it with so a baseball bat. Defense. We're doing the swatting away with a baseball bat, but you were up on the deck. Okay. Um, I went to swing the ball away, and I've followed through a bit much, and like leaned off the balcony, and then like gone to fall off the balcony, and then grabbed the hoop with my hands so that I wouldn't fall then to dunked. the ground, and then my mates ran up on the deck and like pulled me back up. Oh. So you was hanging off a hoop. Yeah. But like face forward, like this. And like oh my legs yeah, sure, are like sure. Hanging off the ledge. Oh. You say baseball bat? Yes. The hell's this sepo bullshit? Fucking playing basketball and a baseball bat. Fucking. No offense to sepo. Kansas. Yeah. No offense to sepos. Anyway, last question. Southies. Northies. 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 Ah, oh, hang on. Uh, oh, the next explanation of um, when 6 i 6 life flashed before his eyes. Would you like to hear it? Yeah. So, um, about 60 years ago... 60? 6. Oh. He was almost pulled into a metal working lathe due oh, to fuck. a uh, wearing leather glove at the, wearing a leather glove at the time. Uh, luckily the stitching tore as it retched my arm, it pulled me in. I had to sit down for a few minutes and collect my thoughts. Um, and then count his lucky stars. Uh, I was not a red stain dripping down the workshop walls. Um. You have the sacred sword of seven stars. You have to count yeah. Them. Uh, so God, yeah. that's stitching not break. yeah. Oh, the stitching breaking. Lucky. Very lucky. Our last question comes to us from Rye Guy. What are some decks that you never thought would be good but become good at some point? Uh, he's searching, a, uh, seeing a lot of hype around Viking cards yeah, at the moment, and he never thought it would be successful How outside of Duel Links. How dare you? Original Fire Kings were cool as hell. They told YCS, that, didn't they? Well, original Fire Kings. Yeah. No? Or was it just Fire uh, Kings? The, the Fire King Cosmo might have. But the original Fire Kings, they were in a place where it's like they could control and do stuff. And it's just, they were missing a little bit extra. But they were fine back then. If you told me they would be on the Cosmo train and then this train. Nah, Vikings are fine. The question is, back in the day, did you play the Barong or the Chicken? A lot of people played the Chicken, but I remember seeing lists play Barong. Just to give them an 1800 beer. Yeah. Oh yeah, I, I, was, I was a Barong man. But I didn't play it too much. I used Barong and then like you'd have a level 4. Like, it's a level 4 for bloody Exiton or something. Hmm. Like, it's just... Level 4s were powerful back then. Um, a deck that I thought would be shit. Well, Unchained, kind of. Yeah, Unchained is definitely in that slot for me. I just thought I was going to play it a couple of weeks, get fucking decimated, and then move on. And here we are. 
Dragon Maids. <laughs> that was fucking horrible, and Kami was like, what if we just gave you a card to make it decent? I was like, ooh. I was like, what if we gave you a card to make it good? I was like, ooh. Has Dragon Maids top though? Oh. I mean. Sure, at some point. Topped an event? Dragon Maid and Dragon Link definitely topped at one point. Was Dragon Maid the deck that I was yelling about where it was like on the pod where it was like, I'm like, it's dragons, it will be good eventually. Maybe. And someone was like, no, it, these cards suck. I'm like, yeah, they do. <sighs> I believe it was I'm, when we're back in the old place. I believe I'm being indicted for something I probably didn't uh, say. It sounds like a you no, thing. No, you were, we, I mean, we were doing the pod, but it might not have been you. Could have been Andrew. But I didn't get too far with the Andrew pods. Oh. Feel free to go back. Actually, I don't think those are. Those yeah, are I think those would be on the old, old channel. channel. No, they, they didn't exist back then. The, they're on the old audio feed, which is God knows where. Dragon Maids didn't get printed until like 2020. Yeah, so it's going to be on the. Oh. Which one was Jake? Yeah. So 100% was you and me arguing about it then. I don't remember saying there was shit though. You literally said start a battle phase, stop reading. Well. Because it would have been in the first iteration, right? In which case, they wouldn't have had Chamber. Yeah, they had, and they they had a bunch have... of shit. Yeah, hence the reason why we were on about the fact. They Wait, did they come out here in 2020? I think it was December 2020. Oh. I can swear I remember arguing about them in the old place. We'll find. We'll find evidence. And we'll report I back. I mean, that might have been announced before that. That may have been when, you were, when we were talking about it. Actually, that's the thing. Like, there's going to be heaps of times where we either trash a deck or hype a deck on this pod. We, we've been okay this year. Watching the the for the highlights of this year, if there's any highlights, please let us know in the comments. Yes. Um, not the make wish get highlight. Yeah, please not that. That I don't want to ever see this again. It's getting kept in. Yeah, I, we've got so much. To do. We're so much. We're so funny. The video is going to be too long. <laughs> Uh, I'm sure it was quite a good little highlights video. So I'm we missed the most important one though. It triggered me. Should have timestamped it. I can put it in this year's if you want. Just tell me. Oh, I will. Cool. And also the voting's up as well. Yeah, for best card, best deck, and best product of 2023. I haven't even checked since Wednesday if we had any more votes. I imagine we would. Description down below. Yeah. Yes. Jump into the Discord. Ah, uh, and yeah, just. If you keep the name as simple as possible, so if you're voting for the best deck and you think it's, let's say, Unchained, it's called Unchained and not something funny, so that it, it all stacks together in the Google form. Or now I've said it and you want to ruin my life, go type whatever the hell you want, I guess. Yeah, the fact that you've said it out loud is like vote for Chamber. asking for problems. Yeah. Don't do that. Please don't do that. We will discount every you... vote for Chamber. Vote for Chamber. It's making a comeback. 2024, year of Chamber. Wrong fire. It's fire. Yeah, true. The year of fire burn. Should have played it with Kazi. Burn, burn, burn. burn down the Tremendous fire. Mm. What's that meteor card called? Meteor. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for your constant wisdom. Yeah, it is. Uh, is it, it's more sporadic, isn't it? It's <laughs> sparse. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, why can't I find this? Anywho, uh, that concludes us very much for this week. Thank you all for listening and watching. If you are listening, feel free to favourite. If you are watching, please like and subscribe. Jump into our Discord, ask us some questions, fill out the survey, and we'll catch you all next week. Peace.